Orbit stabilizing. Earth. but a shadow of its former purpose. I do not like it here. And this station was once quite the luxurious place for looking UC to lodge a complaint. Then you want UC security, Based on not the I Vanguard. See, I find that very hard to believe. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... Wait... The Warlock! There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man.
done. People, all in one place? I still cannot feel entirely comfortable. can I do for you? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth. Yes?
here on Vanguard business? So, yes, is something amiss? I will watch your back. Even without life, there is the potential for beauty.
Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. You've certainly earned it. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible. That accelerates... everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> Miracle worker is more like it. Getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the... unpleasant side. But the facility staff made short work of them. It's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Magnis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield. On Nera? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them.
not enough oxygen to breathe. It is impossible to... Imagine what this looked like before the colony war. What a waste. Your death. New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. Not here to make your fortune out in the fields then, huh? Suit yourself, but there's no bot named Kaiser around Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least, that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. Well, all right. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. Sorry, but I can't. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. Come on, don't be that way. You do that. Look, I'm gonna stop you there. Pleasure doing business with you. So, Last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser, our best. Don't get a load of visitors coming through. Can't imagine what keeps in the way. What I wouldn't give for... Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts.
Shutting down. Everything in the green. Short-termer. Plenty of bodies out there that didn't come with the war. What can I do for you? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a microcell. That's military-grade tech. 
I think we might have one, but I can promise you, it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Here's what I've got.
Maria Tissio.
junk? There is so much junk. It is difficult to recall how that goes. I am detecting Unit 99. But there is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach. But it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest Ecliptic. A mercenary company like Ecliptic would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Simple and straightforward. A good choice. Moving out.
surface is shape than I expected, guys. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinium. Hmm. Londinium. Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is past. Terramorphs, they could be anywhere. Meaning us, fine. They'll have... As soon as we're done with Kaiser, we'll meet you there. Destination's Londinian on Ptolemon II. We're meeting with Commander Hatoum. Destinations Londinian on Ptolemy II. We are meeting with Commander Hatoum. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. 
But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep. But once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Security God damn facility. planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, oh, what do you need? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? If anyone can pull off something as downright lunatic as that, it's these people. 
and I'll make sure they've got all the supplies they might need to make it a reality. That's correct. Rail logistics for the military logistics, coordinating habitats, stocking the UC. So when I heard things, everything up to spec.
Need something? No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. Let them know you're on your way down. 